In this video, we're going to go over the chemical hot tub starter kit, the chlorine tablets and the chemical floater. Now, these are essential pieces of kit that you need when you first buy a hot tub. Now, people get really worried about this, think there's a lot of science behind it, but don't panic. It will talk through some simple steps and keep it as simple as possible. And one thing I would say is that with our kits, there's clear directions on the sides of the bottles. We also provide a guide which can be found on the listing itself and that link will be provided in this video. The first product that's included in the Hot Tub Chemical Starter Kit is the chlorine granules. So when you first get your hot tub, the first thing you need to do is shock the water. What that means essentially is that you need to add chlorine granules to the water. Now, for a hot tub of this size, the three hot tub sizes that Cozy Spa do, what you need to do is add four teaspoons of, of chlorine granules. What you need to make sure is before adding the four uh, teaspoons of chlorine granules is that the water is at 20 degrees. Once it's at 20 degrees, is add four teaspoons of chlorine granules into the water and then press the bubbles button and allow that to go for about a minute. And what this does is it makes sure it makes sure it evenly spreads the granules into the water and, and puts it through the system to make sure the water is absorbed into the water as best as possible. We get two questions with regards to adding chlorine granules to the water or shocking the hot tub. One is, oh, I'm worried that I've put too much chlorine into the water. This is something not to worry about unless you've tipped the whole bottle in, of course. If you've tipped the whole bottle in, then empty the water and start again. But if you've put a, just slightly too much chlorine into the water or you're worried that you've done so, don't worry, the concentration will lower, dissolve over time. With chlorine, you need to reapply it anyway. So if you feel that you've put too much chlorine in, the simple thing to do is just leave it a day to lower and then reapply using the pH strips to get the correct balance. But this is something not to worry about. Another way to accelerate lowering the concentration of chlorine is to run the bubbles for 30 minutes and this just speeds up the chlorine level lowering. However, as I said before, do not worry. This is not a big, big issue. The other question that we get is people with skin conditions, sensitive skin, worrying about chlorine. Now, if that is the case, there is an alternative product on the market called bromine and that will be a product that may be more suited to you. The next product included in the chemical starter pack is the pool and spa pH strips. So it's basically testing strips that you put into the water. Each pack has 50 strips. And what you do is you get one of the strips. Before dipping this into the water, make sure that you secure this and keep this nice and dry inside because if you get water inside this, you will ruin the complete contents of the kit and then you'll have to buy another one. So what you do is you apply the strip into the water for two to five seconds. And then you need to allow 30 seconds to a minute to get the results of the strips. It's now been a minute since we've tested the pH strips. The results are here on a chart. There's five indicators. The longer part of the strip is the bottom. So simply place it like that and you can, we can, go, we can go through the readings. The first reading is bromine. Now our kit doesn't use bromine, we use chlorine. So that's an irrelevant reading for us to discuss. The next reading is chlorine. If there's a low reading for chlorine and you need to increase it, you simply add more chlorine to your water. If the chlorine level is too high, you use pH reducer to lower it. Or alternatively, you can just leave the hot tub without retreating it for chlorine and it will naturally lower after a day. The next two readings is the pH and the total alkalinity. Again, if you've got both those readings, if you've got a high reading, you simply use pH reducer to lower it. If you've got a low reading and you need to increase it, you just simply use pH plus. All the directions on how much of these chemicals you need to apply are on the bottles. So don't panic. It's nice and clear, step by step on the bottles. Just follow them through and simply apply if needed. The last reading is cyanuric acid. If you get a high reading for cyanuric acid, the only way you can uh, lower that is to empty some of the water and put fresh water in. That will lower your cyanuric acid. The last part of the chemical starter kit is the no foam. This is a very simple uh, chemical. Over time, when you use the hot tub, you'll see 
foam build up. Now people get excited and think that's a good thing, but unfortunately it's a bad thing in terms of the health of your water. What the foam means is basically there's dirt build up in the water. So you need to get rid of the foam. And the simple way to do that is by applying spa no foam. Again, as mentioned before in the video, there are simple directions telling you how much you should apply. And all you do is apply once you start seeing a build up of foam. If you're using the hot tub in best practice ways, you won't get a foam build up and you will not need to apply this product as frequently. The biggest thing you need to know is how often to apply the chlorine. Now with the starter kit, you get the chlorine granules, but separately we sell the chlorine tablets and the chemical dispenser. So when you shock the hot tub, as we've mentioned before, the granules are the perfect product to do this. Not so with the tablets, but long-term maintenance, we would recommend using the tablets. The reason being is it's such an easy thing to do and you don't have to worry about constantly going back and forth with the hot tub, um, applying the granules. With the tablets, you simply just, you simply get one tablet, place it into the dispenser, and put into the water. You replace it once the tablet is fully dissolved. So you, what you do is you check it every couple of days or every time you use it, check the tablet. If it's fully dissolved, just add another one in. If you're going to stick with the granules, it's a bit more of a checking process where you use the pH strips and apply more granules in regularly. So there's more, there's more work to do. With the tablets, you just put it in leave it, keep an eye on the tablet and replace. The other benefit with the tablets is that there's extra chemicals added to reduce scum uh, buildup on the, on the hot tub. So it keeps cleaner with the tablets as well. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer it for you. If you like this video, please like it, share and subscribe to our channel to see more videos.